Now on the whole back end, I had left this blank on purpose. So when I would teach this song, because the patterns, you know, the concept of patterns and music is patterns and it repeats itself. Uh, I left this whole blank because I would have, I would have my students fill in the patterns. Yeah. And it further helps to build their memory. And so then that's the trick, right? Memorizing the melody. Once you memorize the melody, you'll know when the chord changes happen. Yeah. Because it never, never changes. And that's probably like the most important thing, memorizing the melody and getting familiar with the chord pattern. Yeah. Well, I know the melody already, but mm -hmm. because I don't know the, the words, I don't know the phrasing and where the melody breaks on those, on the phrasing. Uh-huh. You know, so that's, that's what I've got to put together. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, because okay. I, can, I can play the melody just by ear, just on notes without any music or anything, but uh -huh. then I've got to match it to the phrasing of, uh, like Hitoro Bocci has, had, Hitoro, how, how they actually spread, spread that out? Yes. Okay, so I'm going to sing from verse one all the way to verse two, and then I'm going to introduce this section right here, which is the chorus. Okay, here we go. So we kind of went through that whole spiel. All right. Now with that one section, it's fairly simple in terms of courting. You know what I mean? It stays pretty straight. Ayuroko. And then you, you want to run through the words? You want to run through the words? You want to learn the words? Could you just go back to the Ni'ijin part there and just do that one line? That's the one line that I'm struggling oh. with. Okay, let's let's sing it through. So you're kind of holding that nijinda. Yeah, so you're gonna hold it. Ni jin da ho shi o kozoete. So it's like it's N double I really, that rather than N I. Yes. yes, yes, yes. It's like N I I. Yeah, yeah. Or just think as like in Hawaiian terms, kako long long e. Yes, yes. Okay. So ni jin da 
を使用数えで。Make sure we don't say みいじんだ。Because then it changes the meaning. Yeah? So, as far as I know from what I, what I learned, it's just straight みい。So, the, the, the note may rise, but not the syllables. You know what I mean? So, we don't make it sound like a みいじんだ。Because then all of a sudden, it becomes a different word. Yeah? Uh, it becomes underwear instead of hat, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. Exactly. <laughs> changes the meaning. Extend that me. Me, Jinda. Yeah? Well, let's try that. From the very beginning, Second verse, here we go. Okay, get them so far? Yeah. So if the words and the melody that might be very unfamiliar, yeah, compared to what we normally hear, but man, this song is such a great song. Such a great song. And then so I would take these guys right here. When you hum the melody, you should be able to already hear the chord changes. You know what I mean? So it should be super simple there. And then uh this right here is the only change so and then kanashimi wa i should mark these for you guys yeah okay let me mark these guys for yeah uh okay let's try without the chords get on chris ready Let me put this up on my side. Ba, 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 ba. All right, okay, let's try. <clears throat> so let's try from verse number two from right here. Okay, we'll start from here and then we'll go all the way down. Okay. <laughs> G. 
and then we'll start working on melody without the chords, okay? the verse right after that. How's that? Not bad? Yeah? So-so? <laughs> um, you're, you're bringing the, the I in as the E, the e in pronouncing in that. So, yeah. Omoi. Omoi dasu. Yeah. Omoi. Omoi. Because I, I was missing that. Yeah. Omoi dasu. And then kind of ah, uh, kind of like drag that ah. Uh. You know what I mean? Yeah, omoi dasu natsu no hi. Yeah, they kind of that. I don't know how to explain that sound, but in Hawaiian we have that too. You know what I mean? Um, it's kind of like a it's it's a glottal movement in the back of the throat. All right, okay, follow along, guys, and then. Okay, we got our chords here. I'm going to move it up. All right. And then, so we're going to focus just in this one section from here all the way to here. But other than that, everybody's good in the chords. Yes. Thumbs up. Yeah. Coolio. All right. Okay, let's play through. All right. And we'll do a basic up down strum. You could. 
could do a Hawaiian roll if you'd like. Which I've covered in previous classes. just the main thing um, <clears throat> is start memorizing the chord patterns okay and that's kind of part of our lesson today all righty other than that pretty good pretty simple all right so let's run through this one more time so um, for for those of us that just joined uh, I left this one part blank all in this whole bottom part so part of this is learning how to memorize melody, right? And taking the chord melody and applying it once you memorize the, the sound of the song and how it goes and applying this pattern of chords, okay? And that's one thing that we really wanna, I wanna kind of like really emphasize is when we play ukulele, when we're learning how to play, the best thing we can do is memorize patterns, okay? So we take notice of the verse, the chords within the verse, and then the chords within the short chorus, okay? And then we memorize that. So in the beginning, I would always have my students just fill out the blanks and put the chords in there just so that they kind of help get familiar with the, the melody and the memory. Uh, and writing helps us memorize, okay? All right.